my name is Leonard Luciano, and I am the Essex County District 4 freeholder. I have had the pleasure of serving as freeholder for the last three and a half years, and just recently I was re-elected uh, to another three-year term uh, to serve the residents, uh, approximately 180,000 residents that live in the 11 West and North Essex towns, including the towns of Caldwell West Caldwell and Verona. The two um, reasons we're here early before our meeting for special presentations. Thank you all for being here. Uh, before I begin, I'd like to just introduce um, some of the dignitaries and staff that are in attendance. Uh, my colleague, uh, Freeholder Brendan Gill, who is here with us, who lives in Montclair. Brendan Gill, thank you for being here. Um, we have uh, the Essex County Executive, Joe DiVincenzo, his Chief of Staff, who lives in Fairfield, Phil Laja. Phil, thanks for being here. And to Jeff, Maritza, and Gary, uh, all of whom work for the Freeholder Board and help make nights like this possible. Thank you guys for putting this all together. So before I begin, I'd like to just sort of take you guys through a little bit, uh, how can I say this, a civics lesson. Um, other than being a freeholder, I'm a public school teacher of 11 years. I teach here in the city of Newark. And when I meet folks along the trail, they always ask me the same question. It's very common. What is a freeholder? So for all the students here from Verona High School, the best way that I can explain it is we are the legislative branch of Essex County. There are nine of us, nine freeholders. We're very similar to your town council in your town. Um, four freeholders run at large, and they represent all 22 municipalities here in Essex County. And then there's five district freeholders, and I'm district four. If you cut the 22 municipalities up into a pizza, you break it up by town. I'm the district four freeholder, and I represent west and north Essex County. We also have a county executive who is the chief executive, sort of serves as the mayor of the county. His name is Joe DiVincenzo. Uh, he currently resides in Roseland, and that pretty much makes up or breaks down our county government. Um, at this point, I'd like to move along with the program, and the individual that I'd like to join me up here at the podium, her name is Mary Davison. Mary, do you mind joining me up here at the podium? Come on up, Mary. Mary Davison just last week completed her service on the Colwell West Colwell Board of Education for nearly 13 outstanding years, including eight of those years where she served as president. As the mother of four children who attended the Colwell West Colwell Public Schools, Mary has always been concerned with providing quality education and wide-ranging opportunities to the district students. And she has, for many years, also volunteered her time generously to make that happen. In 2002, Mary Davison stepped up her participation in the notch when she was elected Board of Ed, where she would go on to serve four consecutive terms. Recognizing her unique leadership abilities, her colleagues elected her as their president for eight of those years. I think that that deserves a round of applause. Congratulations. <laughs> The board enjoyed many noteworthy achievements that are a testament to her hard work and ability to build partnerships. To name a few, Mary was instrumental in establishment of the first school resource officer program at James Cobble High School in conjunction with the Township of West Cobble and its police department, as well as the implementation of many safety upgrades in all our district schools. Spearheaded, and when I say all our district, I happen to reside in West Caldwell, so I still refer to the Caldwell West Caldwell School District as our district. Mary also spearheaded the passage of a $14.5 million bond referendum to renovate the Center for Performing Arts at the high school, as well as school cafeterias and other upgrades throughout the district. She successfully promoted an $18 million bond referendum to renovate all the athletic fields, which I'm sure all you guys can appreciate that are here in attendance 
and the sports complex at the high school, and to fund technology, safety, and environmental upgrades district-wide. Mary also led the construction of a playground for special needs students at Harrison School. In her professional life, Mary is a registered nurse. She has worked for Dr. Asadi in West Orange for over 20 years and previously worked at St. Barnabas Medical Center in Livingston in the burn unit and emergency department. She has resided in West Coble for 30 years and is married to her husband, Richard, who has joined us here tonight. Mary, speaking as a teacher myself, I can tell you that all teachers and educators across the state of New Jersey would love to have somebody like you leading their Board of Education. Speaking as a resident of West Colwell, I want you to know how much I've appreciated and respected the great job you did for the administrators, the teachers, and the students over the years as I've closely paid attention being involved myself with government and with the school system. On behalf of my colleagues on the Freeholder Board, it is my honor to present you with this well-deserved presentation, which reads, Honoring Mary Davison for how outs her outstanding service to the Caldwell West Caldwell Board of Education. Congratulations, Mary. <laughs> and I would like for you to join me here, well, you're joining me here at the I'd like you to step up and please share with us some of your remarks. Um, but before I do that, I just want to also recognize uh, one of my other Freeholder colleagues who has joined us, Freeholder Patricia Siebold of Livingston. Freeholder. Thank you, Len. I wanted uh, just on behalf of myself to thank Freeholder Len Luciani to, uh, for taking the opportunity to recognize myself with his fellow Freeholders for my service and tenure on the Board of Education in the Caldwell West Caldwell School, Di School District. It has been my pleasure to serve as a board member in the Caldwell West Caldwell Schools over the last 12 and a half years. I've served in various roles, as Lenny had said, as board president, but also in other capacities over those years. And while I did that, I worked with many different and unique people that have different personalities and obviously uh, you know, the opinions. And at the end of the day, while we may not always agree on things, the one thing we certainly all agreed on was that the purpose of being on the Board of Education is to serve the students of our school community and to provide them with the most outstanding educational um, program that they, can, they, that they deserve. So while I look back at the 12, over the 12 plus years that I served, I'm very proud of the many accomplishments and also some of the difficult issues and decisions that we had to work on as a board. We had to reach consensus on many difficult things, and we were able to do that with a lot of hard work. And I'm very thankful for the time that we, we were able to do that, but I'm most proud of the accomplishments and the successes of many of the students that we were able to serve over those years. And certainly looking at Freeholder Luciani, it's one of the, you know, an example of a success story. So I, I know that it will continue. The people that are serving presently on the board will continue in the same vein as all the other school districts and in the, in the state of New Jersey. It also, these uh, 12 years have given me a much greater ex, um, appreciation for the role of public education in all of our uh, communities and how important it is to maintain a very strong public education for each of the communities because I think that's what makes our community strong. So thank you very much for this opportunity. It's been my pleasure to serve and I know I'll continue to do so in other capacities. And thank you so much for this opportunity. <laughs> Thank you, President Davidson.